is up everybody welcome back to another video as you guys saw in the title i got myself a gopro hero 10 but before we get into the unboxing if you guys haven't subscribed yet go down there hit that white button turn it red and also turn on bell notifications so you know when i post let's crack this case open also i got other accessories for the gopro Ooh. first thing we ordered is a, before we get into the GoPro, we got a handlebar slash seat post slash pole mount. And this is for whenever I record some soccer videos, I can mount the GoPro on the, the goal post. Next, we got a chesty. Basically what this is, is a chest strap. It wraps around your torso and then the GoPro is right here in the middle. I wanna use this for some POV soccer, uh, content. Next we got a dual battery charger plus another battery because I read online that having multiple batteries for the GoPro is really smart and when I ordered it it already came with uh, a separate battery so technically I already had two but now I have three and I have a charging station for it now. Last but not least we got the GoPro 10. Let's go. I will be selling this so. What <laughs> the heck? Let's get into this GoPro. Honestly, just staring at this is very satisfying. Just looking at it and holding it. But as you can see, it already comes with its, with its own case. And this one specifically that I ordered is a special butter. It already comes with a clamp, a tripod, and then like I said, an extra battery. Little case that comes with it. Let's get this open. Ooh. Okay, this is nice. So the case automatically comes with a pamphlet that tells you how to start up the GoPro and turn it on and change the batteries and everything and charge it. This, I think, is the clamp that came with it. Oh, it's magnetic. This is a really strong clamp. This is the charger. I'm not gonna unbox it now, but this is a charger. The two batteries. I'm assuming the GoPro doesn't have a battery right now. These are tiny, what the heck? I mean, the GoPro is tiny, but these are pretty tiny. Look, baby. Okay, now what is this? I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what these are. Um, the instruction manual would probably tell me, but I'm new to this GoPro stuff. Okay, what is this? This is a tripod. Well, this is a pretty cool tripod. Ooh, time to get the GoPro out. It's so small. So as you guys can see, this is the GoPro. I think, uh, so this is the front part of the GoPro. I think if not, you guys are gonna roast me again. But, oh my gosh. I'm so excited that I finally got one of these. This is the GoPro. This is the recording on the GoPro. Um, I don't know too much about it so far. I'm just trying to figure out. I just figured out how to turn it on. Whoa, we somehow made it to the field. I'm actually recording from the GoPro. I just want to see like how it feels to record on the GoPro, how everything looks and kind of mess with the settings. Honestly, it's really nice um, so far. It's got a camera in the front and in the back. When I vlog, I can actually see myself instead of just looking at a camera, I can see like what you guys are seeing. All right, let's mess around with the settings a little. Right now we're on the super view. So it's like a super wide angle of everything. Probably a super wide angle of me too. The wide angle on this is nuts. Okay, so I just try to take some slow-mo shots. Comment down below which slow-mo you like better. Okay, so now we're gonna test the stabilization on this because I've seen that the stabilization on this is really good. And what I mean by stabilization, if you guys don't know, um, is basically, like, let's say I'm running with a GoPro, it decreases the amount of like it going like that. So it's like a smoother video. Let's try and do some running, uh, some sprints. I'm actually gonna do a comparison between me sprinting with my phone and recording and me sprinting with the GoPro and recording. Okay, so this is me sprinting with my phone. Run. I'm trying to keep it as steady as possible while I run. 
So it's a fair enough comparison, but let's move to the GoPro. Okay, so we've got the stabilization at the highest the GoPro does. Let's do a sprint, see how it looks compared to the iPhone. Once again, try to keep it as stable as possible like I did with the iPhone. Okay, so those were the tests. As far as like vlogging and stuff, so far, I've only been using the GoPro for about like 20 minutes. It feels way easier than my phone just because it's so much smaller. Back to me on the table opening the GoPro. I saw that for this, there's these little things at the bottom of the GoPro that you can undo like that. Slide this in, and then slide this in. Let's see. Just like that, we got another tripod, heck yeah. And then it stands up like that. A nice quick video today. I just wanted to do a quick GoPro uh, unboxing video. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any experiences with the GoPros, um, this is my first ever GoPro, the Hero 10 Black. Comment down below any tips that you have for GoPros to make my life a little easier. <laughs> with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Intermission. I missed.